Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here um, this month doing the zodiac signs according to their element um, because I would really like to kind of experiment with it and it's been going really good. So I didn't do any kind of spread. I'm kind of just winging it and trusting my gifts to kind of discern what the storylines are. Now, remember, I'm doing Aries, Leo, Sag as a grouping, so there could be more than one storyline that comes through, and I'm absolutely sure there probably will be. So you're going to have to use a little bit of your own intuition and discernment to figure out which storyline best suits you. This is a love reading for the month of, well, it's for... The last couple of days of February all the way through um, to either mid-March or all of March. I haven't made up my mind yet. But there will be an extended as there always is. And I they've been about an hour long. <laughs> so I'm going really in-depth with these readings because I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm robbing you guys by grouping you into a group. But um, if you're interested in the extended you, there will be a Patreon link beneath the video in the drop-down description box. And it is a paid monthly subscription. It's $4.44 to get all of my extendeds and exclusive content. Um, and if you resonate with being a Twin Flame, check out the 1111 tier. It's where I do all of my Sacred Soulmate Twin Flame um, content. And if you would like to learn divination tools and skills, there will be workshops available and more to come in the VIP All Access Pass of 2222. So check those out. I'm also now opening back up. I had shut down my availability to do readings because I had gotten sick and got way behind. So I turned a bunch of you away. Um, and I told you I would announce when I would open back up to receive new bookings. And I'm officially announcing it today with the fire signs that I am now available to do private readings. Um, if you've purchased a 2023 prediction and you're waiting for your video, um, I've got one full one and one half one left to do. <laughs> and so uh, you can look for those by the beginning of next week, Monday or Tuesday you will have those. All right, I'm just babbling now, so let's get into your reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the month of March, or whenever, it's kind of timeless too, whenever you click on it. I'm going to get all your cards out, and then we're just going to channel like crazy. We have the chariot. Vroom, vroom, look at that. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> okay. I just noticing one dog scared shitless and the other one's so trusting. They're like, yeah, let's go. I don't know. We, we might channel into that picture somehow. Let me see. We have the nine of wands. And look, it's the same guy. I'm already channeling. Somebody's afraid. Guarded. Afraid of getting hurt. Ooh. But really wanting to charge ahead. Hmm. And then we have temperance. I just noticed this girl's got a little horn here. Maybe it's a barrette. I don't know, but it looks like a little devil's horn. Can I get it to show up in the camera? And the way her hair looks kind of reminds me of devil horns. Temperance. Somebody's having a hard time controlling... Temptation. This or that. Somebody's having a hard time 
controlling their desire to rush forward. And the reason why is because they're afraid they're going to experience trauma or heartbreak or pain. Hmm. Strategy, planning, prediction, mind reading. <gasps> So number 12 breaks down to a 3. 14 breaks down to a 5. 3, 5, 9. 7, 9. Hmm. I don't know why I did the numbers. It's like somebody's really looking at all the angles. Trying to predict the next move or, or the other the other person's move. We have manifest. Decide what you want, believe you deserve it, and visualize having it. Rest. Look at right under temperance. I'm gonna put that under temperance. Yang, oh, masculine energy on the board, divine masculine energy. We have, I like you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting, wanting to date. Pay attention to the red flags. Oh, I can see I'm going to be channeling deep into this one. <laughs> we have the distorted masculine. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. We have I am coming. Trust Ace of Pentacles. I know you from somewhere. Six of Cups. Oh, this is really looking beautiful. Ah, there's that devil. Boy, did I channel into that. I saw it. I am obsessed with your body. Body. Look at, she's kind of working on her body, isn't she? Ace of Earth. Look at that, guys. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I just did Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they had somebody who was fire. <laughs> Check it out. I'm sure it will, res will resonate for someone. Especially if you know you're working with an Earth sign. Don't have to be, but if you are... You know, we have distorted masculine with the devil. And I'm looking at this picture, and I told you there seemed to be, I mean, come on, it's the 11-11, isn't it? No, it isn't. No, the timing is off. Timing is off. Whoever is the masculine... going to make a move. But it's strategic. It's like the universe has been showing this masculine signs, synchronicities, the sun, the clouds, the divine hand holding a timepiece, temperance, timing is important to this reading for you guys. The 
His masculine's world is crumbling around him and he is triggered. He has been stuck in distorted masculine energy, the matrix, the fear. They've been to war. You know, I always channel the Nine of Wands as somebody who's been through a huge battle. Whether it was internal or external, they've been through some shit. It's Chiron energy. The wounded warrior. It's like PTSD. Something's going on in this person's life. Again, pay attention to the red flags. I do believe this is a divine counterpart for those that resonate with this. This person, I don't know that you'll hear from this person. I know I've got, I know I've got two ace of pentacles here, but I'm kind of reading into this as somebody who is going through a lot of shit right now. And they're so tempted to repeat old fears and patterns, old playing the game. I'm just going to play the game. Back to his old tricks. Why? Because he's been through a battle and he's been hurt and it's a bit of PTSD. But the universe is showing signs. There are signs here. Synchronicities. This way or that. Timing is important. And this distorted masculine didn't want to see it. He's got his hand up. He's got his hand up trying to cover up He doesn't want to see it because when he sees it, when he looks at it, it triggers him. Red flag, red flag. There must be, somebody must be playing a game here. I'm hearing they're manifesting their worst nightmares. But the there's hope. <laughs> I mean, look at decide what you want, believe you deserve it, and visualize having it. Freedom from this fear is what it feels like. It's like um, going from distorted masculine to divine masculine. Freeing themselves of the devil, of the obsession, of... There's been healing here. Rest. Time. Somebody's been healing. Takes time, needs time, in time. They're saying, I am coming. I am coming. I don't think they were before. I don't think they were. I think they were avoiding the nudge, the red flags, the signs and synchronicity saying, look, this way. But now they see it. They see it. They've removed their hand. The... The clouds are parting. The sun is coming out. They've rested. They've been s centering. I'm hearing centering. Balancing. And I think that in the past, they tended to do reckless things that it's like 
the earth was the school of hard knocks, right? This is the youthful version. I'm going to just have fun. I'm going to do it. I'm going to play the games. I'm getting Knight of Wands energy, the player. But this player's luck has run out. Time has run out. And they've had to free themselves from something. Whether it's another commitment, you know, guys, we're doing a collective reading for three zodiac signs. So it's going to be different for everybody, but there seems to be some kind of a release that's happened, a balancing, a rest, a timeout, whereby this person has kind of. We've got a one. A one and a one. <sighs> this is definitely a past life soulmate. For some of you, I'm getting the message that you are a bit needy, or the other person is. Because what I'm seeing here is somebody who attracts through the law of attraction. Players, pay attention to the red flags, devil energy. If you resonate with being somebody who energetically needed to be needed, needed to be valued, needed to be chosen, needed just if you've been chasing love in all the faces. You know, I'm, I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. But what I feel like for some of you, it might have been a pattern that you had. It was the way you played your game. And maybe you weren't even aware of it. But it was um, distorted masculine energy of chasing. You were the chaser. And some of you need to hear that Spirit is saying, not everybody is your soulmate. Not everybody likes you <laughs> or wants to date you or is flirting with you. Not everybody is your soulmate. Learn discernment. And clean up your energy. Or maybe that's what you've been doing. If this is just you in distorted masculine and you were the chaser, chasing, 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 chasing. I need, I need, I need, I need. That's masculine, right? The masculine goes towards, the feminine receives. And in distortion, it could be in the divine feminine or the divine masculine, because we all have masculine and feminine within. So whoever's energy I'm picking up on, because there's three signs I'm reading for, one of you is, I believe, a feminine archetype in your distorted masculine energy of healing, balancing your inner divine masculine by learning to discern Illusion.
And if you've been healing your distorted masculine chaser energy, you freed yourself from the devil, which is obsession. And that is bringing you into balance and going to help you to manifest the real deal. Which for some of you haven't met yet. Because you have not been vibrationally able to manifest it because of this wound. But rest, taking time to heal. There's a possibility that you're at a pivotal point. I got one, one, one. A pivotal point in your life where you get a chance to drop an addiction, an obsession of chasing. The one, the one, 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 one. Is this the one? Is that the one? Maybe this is the one. Because we don't have love here. We have like. There's no love. I don't see love. I like you. Someone likes you. If you feel that this is you, that you think every person you've ever dated was your soulmate, was the one chasing the one outside of yourself and just attracting players that see your neediness, your desire to be valued, your desire to be and used you for sex, the player. I think this month you you could just break free and come into balance, balance, whereby you can have healthy masculine energy inside of you who has learned how to predict How to recognize the the ooh, how to recognize the red flags and be able to read the energy of the person and make a prediction that is now giving you right action. Moving forward with the realization that what's meant for you will just find you. Ace of Pentacles. It's like being open to receive. This could be a very huge shift for, for somebody watching this. Now, that's only one of these storylines, okay? Because the other one's totally different. Um, this is somebody who's, whose world's been falling apart, who has needed time, took time. The universe has been giving them signs and synchronicities and clearing the, the, the fog and shining the light on their own obsession and, and devil energy. And they're being they're trying to find balance in the wreckage. And in that, they're also trying to make a plan for the future.
And I feel like they're trying to hold themselves accountable. Accountable. Like they they go through this, this fire energy of chase, 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 chase. And then, because this is masculine energy, this is feminine energy, temperance. All things, all good things come to those who trust. I am coming. Trust. I know you from somewhere. I'm obsessed with your body. I think there's an alignment here. Whereby, I think maybe the feminine has done some self-mastery and healed herself, her heart chakra, it's green. I'm just going to put it this way. Somebody, and possibly both people, are balancing out their distorted masculine energy. They're finding balance this month. And they're tempering their past distorted masculine energy to just rush. I'm hearing rush. Somebody's going through something and wants to come forward so bad. But they're holding back. Because something is telling them the time is not right. Time is not right. I still have some healing to do. But while I'm healing, I am finding a plan. I'm creating a plan. And I'm probably really being divinely guided in that plan. And it's like their higher self wants to say to the other person, three aces, I am coming. Trust. Needs time, takes time, in time. And the sun just hit me really, really bright. The person who is tempering, because I don't know, for some of you, this is your own inner masculine in distortion. And you're going to find balance and, and move into the feminine energy. You're going to balance your inner masculine and feminine, feminine through tempering. But in that process, you find alignment. The moment you stop chasing love, you are already calling it in, manifesting. And when the time comes that you've manifested what you want, you're going to have to practice what you've learned in balance Pay attention to the red flags. What is your fears? What is your, what have you healed? Can you free yourself from the devil? And then I think you're manifesting your divine masculine or divine feminine. And if this is you with somebody on your heart and mind, I just want you to say, I just want to say that um, this person's intentions, whoever this distorted map, their intentions is to rest, recover. They haven't given up. They're making a plan. They want you to know they're coming, but there's something they needed to free themselves from first whether it's limited thoughts, another dynamic, another situation. 
But this person hasn't been truly balanced. They've been in devil energy. And I think they're cutting some chains from that devil. Either figuratively or maybe even literally. But if, if you've been manifesting somebody who is in distorted masculine energy and you've been balancing, loving yourself, caring for yourself, investing in yourself, really figuring out what you want and what you deserve, I believe you're going to be tempted. Maybe even tested. Can you show up balanced? And the person receiving can they also meet this energy balanced? Both of you guys have been fighting the devil. And the devil wasn't an external devil. It was an internal devil, which was manifesting external devils. And maybe even each other. And the moment you balance out of distorted masculine, or they do, or you both do, you come into a harmonic place whereby new beginnings happen, whether it's with this person or someone better. And so as you're manifesting a test, I do believe it's a test, you will need to use discernment, practicing what you've learned. by knowing your value, by taking a risk, by watching and listening to the signs and synchronicities. See, this is intuition. I know you from somewhere. Now, for some of you, it's been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and the beer koozie. Of course, you know this person because you manifest the same kind of person over and over and over again. And so maybe you're getting out there dating again. Maybe you just met somebody new, somebody who likes you, who's flirting with you, wanting to date. Maybe you're in this distorted masculine of chasing and spirits say, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, take a pause. Trust your intuition. Can you see red flags? Is it same kind of person, same lesson, same scenario with a new face? Is this your wound returning in another manifestation? And if it is, can you free yourself from the devil of dependency? And show up balanced out of distortion some of you are meeting someone new and you're going to have to slow your roll or you're going to have to slow their roll you might have to say oh 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 yes I like you I like you a lot I want to flirt I want to have fun but I also want to take care of my mental, spiritual, and emotional health. So slow the fuck down. Slow and steady wins the race. Allow this to grow or go. Needs time, takes time, in time. 
There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be, right? Decide what you want. Decide what you want. Believe you deserve it and then visualize having it. There's nothing stopping you. There's a, an element of self-mastery here, which is going to help you manifest exactly what you've been calling in. But you're going to have to have discernment. And you're going to have to balance your own inner masculine. You cannot chase. You have to be in, you can't chase and you can't just give up and, and, and show up as the victim. This month is going to require balance between your own inner masculine and feminine, which is manifesting external through the feminine or masculine manifestation. And I think you're going to get tested. I think they're going to get tested. Someone, probably both of you are going to be tested. And this is all about what do you want? Can you make the right choices? Can you discern the difference between your devil and the real deal? Can you free yourself from old patterns and move forward in a more balanced, healthy way? And can they? I feel like um, there's a huge potential here for contact. Whether it's meeting someone new, because ones are all about new, 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 new. But ones are also initiators, they're seeds planted. I believe this month there's a huge potential. for opportunity, for somebody to show up. And if it's, so no matter who you are, it doesn't matter if you're the runner or the chaser, whoever you are in this dynamic, you're both being challenged to balance your energy and to make and take appropriate action and be open to guidance, know your worth, align vibrationally with the vision and dream you're trying to create. Because somebody is definitely telling you, I am coming. I'm just trying to decide When I'm ready. When I've freed myself and the path forward is clear. And, you know, the extra little note here is that somebody finds you or you find them extremely attractive. Attraction. Law of attraction. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> is it what you really want? And if it is, you deserve it. Can you stay out of fear? and balance your energy. And if this shows up and it's not what you want, it's the devil, it's a test, right? Do Can you recognize the devil? 
when you see it? And can you recognize when the devil is missing? It's not there. It's just your fear. You're going to get tested. I think this came out in one of my next seven day advice. You're going to get tested. Someone's going to test you. You're going to test them. You're both going to be tested. Or this is all one person. I don't know. I'm going to take it to the extended and figure it out for you. I'm going to find out um, You know, I was going to say I'm going to figure out who's who, but I don't need to. You're both. You're both. I've got feminine and masculine. And when I look at rest, I hear reset, 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 one, 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 reset. Choices are important. Ones, so in binary code, which is what our world is encoded with, in the matrix are zeros and ones, right? Zero is nothing with the potential of becoming anything. But the ones are the decisions we make that push us forward. Fire. In temperance, the angel is usually playing with masculine and feminine energy, balancing it out. You're going to get tested, both of you, if there are two here. What have you learned? What have you healed? What do you want? What are you manifesting? Are you aware? And can you choose wisely? strategy because if you can then you've just passed the devil test and you are now free from its grip and you don't have to manifest it over and over and over again It's kind of like I'm getting this feeling like I finally learned what I don't want. And so now I know, I do know what I do want. Decide what you want. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Just pay attention to the signs along the way and don't fall into distortion or out of balance. The past becomes the future. Different. Now, that's a very 5D way of looking at it. You know, another thing I'm seeing here is that um, somebody's really, really attracted. Wants to come forward, planning. But there's fear, possibly, that's holding them back rest but it's okay because they're letting you know if you don't hear from them in March you're going to hear from them soon right I am coming trust and if this is you dating new people and experimenting and putting yourself out there and you've done some healing and you've done some balancing and you're trying not to be a runner or a chaser. You're trying to, you know, trust your intuition and make better choices. And um,
then I would say that Spirit's trying to tell you if you're alone right now and you're just wondering if somebody's going to come forward or if you're going to meet the right person or will you keep meeting these players, blah, 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 blah. Spirit wants you to know the right one, I am, the I am, divine masculine, coming, trust. The moment you find balance and alignment, your manifestations are going to drop in a very solid, grounded, abundant, productive way. And it's your very balance and alignment with the healing you've done that is going to manifest it. One way or the other. One way or another. I'm going to find you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. One way. Maybe next week. Yeah. Why are you doing this, Tracy? You got to do the extended. Sorry, guys. I'm going to take this over to the extended. I felt like I already did. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I know what I see here. Um. I very well could end this reading right here, but I'm not going to because I love you and I want to spoil you. So I'm going to take it to the extended. And instead of asking who is this, because I believe it's both of you, if there are two of you. And if this is you just, um, you know, kind of chasing every single guy. If you came to this reading thinking, oh, my God, I met another one. Maybe this is the one. Maybe he's the one. Maybe she's the one. Maybe this is the one. Mm, slow your roll, man, because uh, you're out of balance. You're in distortion, and Spirit wants you to free yourself of that devil and to kind of heal the wound that is making you manifest disappointment and players and distortion over and over and over again. It's time to see the writing on the wall. Pay attention to the red flags. You're going to be divinely guided. And I do believe you are able to predict, read minds, see the bigger picture. But the question is, because you're being tested, will you be able to make the right moves, make the right choices? And this is, you know, I don't know why, but Spirit told me to do the math. So we have 48 breaks down to a 13, which is a 3. And 3s are about planning, manifesting, future decisions, actions, and occurrences, events. All right, so I'm going to take this to the extended. What I'm going to do is, because I do believe this is both of you, working on balancing your inner masculine and feminine energy, which takes time. Takes time, needs time, in time. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I think Spirit's going to test you. Are you ready? And some of you will be and some of you won't. But either way, the test will let you know where you are at on this journey and show you something that frees you from an old pattern, but only if you want it. The path is clear if you want it to be. Decide what you want. Believe you deserve it. Visualize having it. This trauma right here, this wound. This is it. Focus on this. Focus on this. What is your trauma? What 
makes you chase or run. Look at the fear, look it in the eye and decide what you want with new skills. Eyes open, eyes closed. I don't know, I'm gonna play it by ear, but I am gonna pick this apart over on the extended and get you some advice for the viewer. I'm gonna get you some messages from your person, if you have one, whether they're brand new, because some of you guys manifest new dates every other month or every other week and you think every one of them is the one that's for somebody and if you're doing that just know that that's chasing and we chase when we are in distorted masculine energy and we manifest manifest the opposition right if you're chasing you will manifest a runner also distorted masculine energy huh. so i'm gonna see what spirit has to say about this test and what are the odds i'd like to know the odds in this game so if you'd like to find that out if you'd like to get messages love songs and advice from archangel michael and your spirit team follow me on over to the patreon version and i will see you there I love you. Namaste.